how to play dominoes. You don't know how to play dominoes? Well, listen here. Here's a brand new show that just dropped. While the presenters play dominoes, a special guest will be discussing all topics that matter to you. Everything from judicial, legal, health, wealth. Nothing is off topic. The name you ask me? Domino Effect. Domino Effect. Come listen. It's time well spent. a new show with a domino effect we ask you right now to call a friend a co-worker a family member because domino effect come to your house with a brand new show it's not really a, a new show because last time we spoke about it in creole so now because of a lot of demands there's a lot of people asking for it so we are going to talk about about this new show tonight in English. So I'm happy to be here with all my fellow uh, members, uh, Sweet Will, Padre, and we have a special guest with us tonight. It's Nurse Pat. So I'm gonna pass you Sweet Will to say hi, and also Padre to say hi to you guys before I- Hello, pray. hello, hello. Hey, how's everybody doing? Please don't forget to subscribe. Right on the bottom, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you. Yes, it's very important to subscribe. So are you guys ready for the summer? I know um, the summer just started and with um, it's really hot outside. So do you guys have any plan for this summer? Well, pretty much it's been raining, so I don't know what you're talking about, dude. I know. It's been raining all week. Yeah. 90 degrees, 80 degrees, and all rain. So what are we going to talk about? So today we are going to talk about hygiene. Hygiene. And last time we spoke about it in Creole. So to, tonight, today we have it in English. So, so I can say cream cheese. Yes. No. <laughs> What is up with you with cream cheese? You have to explain what cream cheese is. When you first started saying it, I didn't understand what it was. So, the cream cheese. It's your turn. So, my turn. Cream cheese. Cream cheese. So, we are excited to have Sweet Will here. Hi, Sweet Will. 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 Hi, Sweet
You 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 yes. passed. That's you. Wow. Yeah, so, I, play, I play five. Oh, you played already. Yeah. Okay. So um, the skin is a living, breathing organ okay. because through it you perspire. Okay, you sweat. You sweat through the skin, and then of course through that organ it provides protection um, from the from from the sun, as well as it gives you. What? Uh, what happened? It's my you turn passed. again. Yes, your turn. Oh, okay. I, I, I guess I'm playing well you today. Can, you you didn't come to play today? No, because I'm focusing on listening. You're, you're to focusing you. on listening to me. Yeah. It, it provides protection from from the sun. Just so you guys know, and, I win. Oh, you're you're winning. Yo, I'm gonna win. Oh. I'm just is it is it my turn again? No, my turn. no that's what that's Vod's turn. Vod's. Oh, okay. All, all right. Thank you. I appreciate you. Can you play? Yeah, that's my turn. Oh, okay. So right. it provides it provides protection from. Oh wow! You all pass. Yep. And I win. Yep. Oh wow! So the skin provides what? It provides protection. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, because there are organisms that could attack you, but because you do have your skin, mm -hmm. those organisms cannot come in. But you need to protect your skin through hygienic practices so you're saying so it's good for him although he has no hair to handle something that hair yes. that whatever and that's why i was saying he needs to still wash he still needs to use shampoo why wow, you guys are focusing on my <laughs> well well you know sweet will brought it up because he yeah. was saying you're wasting your shampoo. 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 Yeah. but if you, know, you look at he it sweats. Okay. he sweats yeah. okay and when you when you sweat like okay the, the thing that i was bringing up currently mm -hmm. yeah i i i'm i'm wearing a wig okay this is a human hair wig that i have on a lot of a lot of women wear wigs and they think that because they're wearing a wig they uh -huh. don't have to wash it but you do because you sweat in the sweat, okay. it smells. So you need to wash it because that that some you can go by somebody and the person smells. It's because they sweat, and that sweat, you know, it it carries a smell. Okay, so now that you brought this up, mm -hmm. how many times a week should somebody wash their hair, guys or girl? Okay, most people. Um, so, you know, I, I wish you wouldn't start chewing. You, you'd stop chewing for me. Okay. <laughs> so that, because it's a little bit distracting to me. Yeah. Um, so, I, I, you know, your hair carries oils. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, for, for a lot of people, is it my turn? Yes. yes. <clears throat> Ooh, this is kind of tough. Can I even play? No, I can't. You pass. Yeah. Oh no, no, no! Oh, I can. Hold wow, on. Wow, wow. Sorry. Okay, because I have um, an idea. Okay. For you, oh, you had an idea for <laughs> for for most people. Because we'll see, um, Caucasians mm -hmm. they wash their hair daily because their hair carries oils. It produces oils, and it, it can look really stringy and, and dirty if they don't wash their hair daily. Okay. For African Americans, we can wash our hair once a week or twice a week. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then um for for um other other cultures, they they can wash their hair daily. Okay. For bathing. Some people will say, "Oh, they bathe um once a day or twice a day." Yeah. That's that's okay. And and I've heard cuz there was one person, I think it was B Simone, that came on and said, "Oh, she bathes like once three times th th every three days or something oh, oh yeah it, it was like a huge a huge controversy but is it is my the, turn what is the requirement the requirement the requirement is um does it depend on the weather or no <laughs> the requirement per <laughs> the when, cdc when time. <laughs> per, per, minimum minimum once 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 a, a day even though in the summertime or in, in, the, in, in the, the summertime twice Twice a day. Okay. Okay. Twice a day. Some people will say, well, they bathe at night. So they don't bathe they don't bathe in the morning. But let's 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 think about it. Okay. Don't you sweat at night? Oh, yes, a lot. So think about it. Yeah. You showered at night and then in the morning you get up and you just throw on your clothes and you yeah. go to work. Yeah. I, I'm sorry. For me, I, I just think that that's disgusting. But what about those people that use wipes? 
if they don't take a shower in the morning. Yeah. I mean, for they me, don't, they just me, use wipes. For me, it's 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 a comfort thing. Oh, okay. It's so. it's a it's a comfort. So you're thing. saying it's because okay. Let's say let's say if I have to go to work, mm -hmm. I feel uncomfortable if I did not bathe. In okay. the morning. So my question is to you that if someone use wipes, is it okay? What do you we're talking about hygiene? Like a baby? Like a baby? Yeah, yeah. like the wipes. So yeah. are you a full human? Talking. Why would you use baby What do you mean full <laughs> human? No. Babies are full yeah, human too. What I'm saying They're is like you are a grown adult. How exactly. Are you so how are you going to use wipes? wipes to... How many wipes are you going to use <laughs> to clean yourself? You're going to clean out the whole... The, the whole... <laughs> it don't matter, dude. Okay. It don't matter. Let me just say something. So, excuse me. And we're talking about IG. Yeah. Excuse the language. I remember Mark's, Mark's, Mark's grandfather used to say this. He used to say that there are some women that, that do a whole bath. Okay? They, they wash certain parts and, and, yeah. and, and get that's ready. What that, that's and, what that is for. Because <laughs> no, he would, he would say, he would say, you know, they wash their genitals, mm -hmm. they they wash On their, their arms, pits, mm -hmm. and then they get ready and they that's go, it. and yep. then at night they take a shower. That's what he used to call it. Because some people do do that. But I still feel like if if water didn't wash every part of me, exactly. I don't feel comfortable because I feel itchy. Okay. But the CDC does recommend mm -hmm. that you shower. At least once a day, you you shower. The other recommendation is for you to wash your hands if you're touching animals. If you go and you use the bathroom, if you if you go and and you pee or you know you you use the bathroom, that you wash your hands. And the recommendation is you yeah. wash your hands for a full twenty seconds. And I did this for a class of mine where I did Who's a study turn? with with children. It's it's yes, my turn. It's turn. I did a study That's with fine. with children mm -hmm. where I came up with a song, and the song was it was row row your row 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 your boat, mm -hmm. but it was top and bottom, top and bottom, in between, in between. Rub your hands together, rub your hands together, rinse them, clean, squeaky clean. And it was just doing it with kids. I did it with my son just to see if they would remember, mm -hmm. remember and whether or not it worked. We're he, done. He yeah. closed the game. Oh, you closed the game? Yeah. Whether so, or not so they would you, remember to see if it worked. And it yeah. worked. They remembered the song and they were able to wash their hands because what I did is I used something called glow germs and I put the glow germs on them. Okay. Taught them the song. Mm -hmm. And then have them wash their hands. And then I, I used a highlight, um, a highlight flashlight just to see if the germ stayed on their hands. And it didn't because they learned appropriately to wash their hands. Because on another study that the CDC did, it proved that you touch your face 23 times a day. Wow. Now, when you guys came in here, how many of you guys washed your hands when you came in here? I use the wipes. Yeah, I just use the bathroom. So. <laughs> I have a question with that. With the bathroom. I'm not gonna lie, I use the wipes. The you wipe that was on the table when I walked in I here. Oh, so you use the, you use the Clorox no. wipe to clean yourself? No, my hands. <laughs> My oh, hands, okay. dude. So you use, so you use a cross wipe, wipe to my, your hands. Yeah, to wipe my hands when I came in. Yeah. 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 So I have a question this go, go ahead. Go ahead. What about the people that, okay, including us that are using the bathroom, and after that, you wipe your hand in the bathroom, and you go, you open the door with the knob, you touch the knob again. See, when I wash my hands in the bathroom after mm -hmm. using the bathroom, I use Keep the a napkin, yeah, the and that then I open So you're talking about yeah. public bathroom? Yeah, public yeah. bathroom. Okay, yeah. that's what I thought. Yeah, public yeah. bathroom. Yeah, obviously, yes. And I think, I, I don't know if you guys noticed that, but I think ever since COVID started, I mean, mm -hmm. since COVID, a lot of public bathroom has their trash barrel right next right to the now. door so yes. that you can so you can just that so open that the door and toss okay. it there's there's been a lot a changes, lot of changes I think. because yeah. of yeah. covid and also You'll notice what about i don't know if you guys seen Some that since we're talking it. about hygiene and i don't know if you guys see it or if you guys use it i don't know about you really you see how they sell those gloves so mm -hmm. you can uh wash your body with um that they sell scrub you mean the scrub, the scrub. The, the so, yeah my question to you after you finishing using it once 
Should you use it a second time? The because the scrub, is, you, you, you have, you have scrub to think, everything. You, you have well. to think about it. Mm -hmm. A lot of these a, a lot of these gloves that you can buy, mm -hmm. there's there's a time frame on them. They tell you that How these long? these gloves are for seven day use. But I feel like it should be only one time use. No, they're not. They're you, not for one time use. But if you're using it for like so, a, a part of your body, and you're gonna go use it the next time, and you put it in your face again, oh is no! That a, whoa, come See, on, dude. You but think use about two, it. You use, come on, yeah. use two two different wash um, washcloths. Exactly. Yeah, one for certain yeah, part. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly the because other. all the microbe. <laughs> Yeah. From certain part, you know, the cream cheese. But not everyone. Not everyone. Not everything that's lost. I'm not just saying. That's what he's saying. He's saying. No, that he's saying. But, he pleaded the fifth. When he's pleading the fifth. When you go to use the bathroom, like yeah. I said, there's mm -hmm. certain hygienic practices. Like the thing that happened in Haiti with mm -hmm. cholera. Yeah. Cholera happened because of hygienic practices. Yeah. Those um those peace the 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 peacekeepers that came out to help mm -hmm. they came out to help in haiti but they were using they they in, instead of using the the you, the man. portable um toilets down down in haiti yeah they that's they were using turn. oh it's not no i'm sorry i just played that well oh, i'm I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Keep going. Keep going. They they were using they were using the toilet, and because of where they were using the toilet, uh, um, because they were using the toilet, people were using the water that they were using the toilet there, yeah. and that caused co the the cholera outbreak, and a lot of people died. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so, and and when you think about it, think Hep A. Why are a lot of why are a lot of people contracting Hep A in restaurants? Because there are restaurant workers that are going to use the toilet. Yeah. They don't wash their hands. They don't wash their they hands, and back. they're coming back and, and making your food, yep. and thus you're contracting Hep A from yeah. eating the food that's that's being prepared. Yeah, regardless if the food get cooked or not, then you know all the microbe can that's, just. That's okay, that's yeah, why. I get it. And and when you're thinking. Okay, a lot of people say that they're they're not able to use certain products. That's why there are products that are being made that are hypoallergenic. Yes. Yeah, to accommodate everybody. So there are there are certain things that people are allergic to. That's why there's a vino that's made that's hypoallergenic. There's Cetaphil that's hypoallergenic so mm -hmm. that everybody can use it. Because people are saying, oh, I'm allergic to certain soaps. That's why I don't use soaps. You know, you know, when you look at certain people and they tell you, oh, you know, I have a strong smell. Ooh. Mm. Well, I, you have a strong smell because think about it. If if somebody doesn't go to the dentist, that's why I said Ooh. there's there's dental hygiene. Mm -hmm. okay. You need to go see the dentist that's because it. the recommendation is for you to see the dentist twice a year. Yeah. So that yeah, the dentist months. can take a look at your teeth. Mm -hmm. So you can get a cleaning done. Because if you don't get a cleaning, you can have erosion of your gums. Yeah. Erosion of your gums, you can lose your teeth. And if you lose your teeth, mm -hmm. you you know then because the, the odor that you have, body odor, it doesn't just come just from you, you, a, a smell because you're sweating. It comes from within. It also comes from what you eat. Okay. What yeah. you eat comes from your pores. Mm. It can also come, there are certain people, there's, there's certain illnesses that cause you to have an odor, but it also comes from not washing. But think about it too. If you don't bathe regularly, mm. it causes you to have an odor. But it also causes you to have an odor if you, you don't bathe and you don't change your clothes. You can yeah. bathe. And then you don't wash your clothes. If you the, bathe the and then you put on the same clothes that yeah. were not washed, you're gonna have a bad odor. Yeah. But if you bathe and then you're putting you're putting perfume in your armpits, are you really helping yourself? You're not putting on antiperspirant. Okay, so so you're saying deodorant is not good, but it has to have antiperspirant. Because deodorant is just it it, it, it helps with the smell. You also sweat. You sweat. Okay. So there, there's a difference between deodorant and antiperspirant. There are also some people say they don't, they don't like antiperspirant because it has aluminum. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. because aluminum causes um, cancer. There are certain ones that are made that are aluminum free that okay. you can buy that help with odor. Mm -hmm. um, there's one called Native. There's um, other ones that are aluminum free that are really good. I'm, I'm bringing out the Native one because that's the one that can come that comes to mind right now. There's also one made called Tom's. Um, there's a few others yeah. on the market that are really good. Yeah, totally. There's some there's some crystal ones that are really good that people can try. If they don't so want what to do you say about those organic market, deodorant they're, they're really good because I've tried some of them okay. I've tried okay. some of them and I can tell you that they're good now just to tell you some of them don't help with that's what with sweating oh, yeah with the yeah, with, with sweating is it ask. my turn yeah your turn. yeah your turn that's what I was going to ask um can it help with if someone has a naturally well, you you can bad. you can definitely go and see um the the dermatologist mm -hmm. for that because there are certain things that the dermatologist can do to to help you okay because um they there are ways that they can help you because if you have something called hyperhidrosis which is you sweat a lot yeah. there are ways that they can help you um so there there are different things that can be done but definitely you know and and with menstrual hygiene which was one of the things that i mentioned mm -hmm. you know um wearing wearing a pad is not meant to last you all day okay it's something that oh, okay what, what 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 is the suggestion then the suggestion is to follow um the instructions on the box uh, a pad is meant to be worn for three to four hours three to and four if it's hours. for three to four hours it needs to be changed okay now here's my question mm -hmm. uh, are, are, are there some women out there that does more than i mean that well, i don't know how to change it, it more frequently yeah yes. especially okay. if you're at work yeah okay. oh okay. yeah you can change it more frequently you can change it less frequently depending mm -hmm. on your flow okay um but it's not it's not you 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 wear it and you forget it Okay. 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 You know, you you definitely need to need to change it, and as well as I know, you know, this is a touchy subject. Mm -hmm. Your your flow can can have a smell, and that's why it it pays to like increase your water intake mm -hmm. to to decrease the smell. Okay. If 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 there's a smell associated with it, you could definitely feel free to speak to your gynecologist and say, hey, you know, I, I think that there's an odor because it could mean that there's an infection involved. Okay. And, and definitely that's something that needs to be discussed with your doctors. Um, if you feel like, you know, you, you have a body odor mm -hmm. that that's, you know, a, a, a bit pungent, you could mm -hmm. speak to your doctors and say, hey, you know, I feel like I have a body odor because it could mean that you have an infection. Mm -hmm. It could mean that you have an illness. And and body odor can also be brought on by certain medications that you're taking yeah. as well. Okay. Now, I have a question. This is a very touchy subject. It is. It no, is. No, what I'm about to ask. Mm -hmm. So, Feet. I remember I was having a conversation with a good friend of mine. Mm -hmm. And he was, I mean, I think it was among us. Mm -hmm. And he says, so what should a guy or a woman do after they've done having sex? Should they go take a shower or just go straight, straight to bed and sleep? <laughs> it's up to you. Um, after sex, one of the things that's recommended for mm -hmm. a female is for them to go empty their bladder. Okay. Because to go pee. Okay. Because... Um, it, it's recommended for you to go mm -hmm. empty. And, and the reason why I'm saying that is because I've worked in um, the OBGYN field. Mm -hmm. You go empty your bladder because it helps for you to empty your bladder so that you do not end up having an infection, so okay. you, that you don't end up having a bladder infection. Okay. But if you feel that after after intercourse, you you want to have a shower absolutely you definitely can but for a man and a woman it's recommended for okay. you to go into your bladder okay but what if the person doesn't have to go does that it's recommended yeah it's recommended so just the ladies how about the guys both same of you thing. Same oh, okay. thing. yeah i've heard that is I've it is it my too. turn yeah you're yes fine. um so now mm -hmm. and my i have another question regarding feet 
Yes. In our country, in Haiti, we call yeah. whatever that song, that song between your feet, we call it two things. We call it <laughs> Mayas. Mayas and we call it eczema. How do you say Mayas in English? I, I said Mayas, dude, okay? <laughs> toe jam. It's called toe jam. <laughs> Mayas, okay? It's, it's not eczema. <laughs> eczema is actually topical dermatitis okay and it's it's eczema oh, my turn. it's, your, it's turn. your turn so um but what you're referring to in between in between the toes it, it's your turn mm -hmm. in between the toes oh wow really for real yeah. in between the toes is actually Ooh. called tinea pedis okay tinea pedis is part of a fungal infection is part of a fungal infection a fungal family i win wow it, it's 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 part of a, a family of infection there's tinea versicolor there's there's um tinea pedis tinea versicolor and um tinea cruis okay it's a, a fungal infection caused by by fungus and it affects the toes it's an it's athlete's foot okay to 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 make it easier and it's it's very itchy it's very annoying um they treat it with oral medication as well as topical and um medication medication okay it's itchy it's red it's annoying um, you see um, the dermatologist, and when you see the dermatologist um, for it, they they give you stuff that you take. You you treat it by cleaning in between your toes and putting whatever topical medication that they give to you. Tinea cruis is jock itch that they give you medication for it as well. The versi color we call it lota yeah. in in Haiti. There's medication for it as so well, but you what would see. It? It's it's a fungal infection. It's an okay. overgrowth of fungus, mm -hmm. and it just happens. But you would see the dermatologist okay. for for something like that. But it's not eczema. For that, we we clean ourselves mm -hmm. because making sure that we your turn to clean ourselves, clean our bodies, clean, clean our clothes, clean our nose. <laughs> <laughs> wash our clothes because especially for Whoa, our young we... people making sure that we're clean yeah that's helps right. talking about nose um you know how when some uh, i usually see old people do that mm -hmm. you know how they always instead of picking their nose but they have hair nose so is that something you need to go see a, to the barber or is that something you can do yourself they have the you little thing that yourself you put in you your nose. Have, that you okay. do have something that you to, can use. I tried to do it myself. So, so don't. Well. And it didn't work. <laughs> it got lost. Be careful. <laughs> Whose turn is it? Mine? Yeah, your <laughs> turn. Yeah, so, um, he slipped. Is there anything, Nespa? We excited. We thank you for taking time to talk to us about hygiene. Um, because we are about to finish. Is there mm. anything that you want to say to our viewer that watching we got in? hygiene um global and everything that we talk about tonight what is the one word that you would tell every of you right now what would i say to finish mm. i would say you know hygiene is very important because bottom line they leave a lasting impression on everybody and anybody that they meet okay. so if they do not take care of themselves or their hygiene, people will always have a lasting impression like that person stinks. Yeah. You heard it. So we thank you for everyone that was watching the show tonight. Don't forget to subscribe and to invite a friend and also to share it. It's very important because um, the show that we are doing, it's to help you, to help us and to help our community and to learn about hygiene about different things we thank you and don't forget call someone share the life because we need it ciao ciao <laughs>